ever thought about Versa stylers and that you can curl your hair with it? I don't know, but once I got my hands on it, I thought this is pretty dope. Hello, beautiful people, and welcome back. I have had so many requests doing a video on how to curl your hair with a Versa styler, and my first video have gotten 1,000 views, which so surprised me because I didn't think that was going to be super big, but it ended up being huge. So today I will show you guys how to curl your hair with this. Hopefully I could get some type of curl because my hair is shorter like you see. Yes, I did do my hair at home. I bleached it myself. I am a cosmetologist so I know what I'm doing. If you'd like to see that, I'll put it in the description so you guys can go check that out. And today I'll show you, like I said, how to do your hair with a Versa styler. Now, this is something that's not that popular out there, but it is very similar to your time straightener that's out there. When I first discovered the Versa styler, I've actually seen a lot of different things on social media as far as the time straighteners, that they have a similar effect to this. But the only thing about some of those straighteners is they have a side so your hair almost has like that angle to it which I don't think would be ideal so with this one the difference is is the plates as you can see is tilted versus the straighteners that have straight so this is made really easy for you to be able to curl your hair with it and not struggle the cool thing about this one is it heats up in seconds it's digital I really like that the plates are titanium they are super nice for straightening someone that has super coarse hair or you just want to straighten your hair really fast it's a really good way to do it now for my hair hopefully I could do this because it's a little dry from yesterday it just needs a few masks it's not really damaged at all which kind of surprised me but kind of not because I haven't really bleached my hair in such a long time but let's just jump in. So because this was highly requested, I decided to do this video again. I know that I said in my first one that I did that I will do a curling how-to video and I am back with it. Alright, and I have this up to 356. It doesn't have 350 for some reason, but you know, we'll just roll with it. I haven't this been this blonde in such a long time, but I really like being this bright. And I know for some this might be too of a golden blonde, but I actually do really like it because it's very bright. But normally because my hair is so short, I don't really curl like the very bottom pieces of my hair because I can't really get it to curl. It's just too short for that. But I will mostly curl the very top and it normally just blends with the rest of the hair. So let's give this a try because I don't know if it'll work on my short hairs. I've already prepped my hair with a heat protectant so we don't end up burning our hair. So the first thing, like I was saying in my other video when I showed you guys how to curl your hair with a straightener, this is going to be a similar effect but less work to be done for you. So you want to have your elbow up and kind of have and have your hand out like this and curl it. You can do it this way as well, but I feel like that makes it harder. It doesn't give you as much control of the actual straightener. But we could try both ways just so that you can see what I mean when I say that. So the thing is, you put this in, you twist a little bit, and then you pull it. Didn't do much. Okay. Let's try it again. I don't know, this might be a complete fail, you guys, because my hair just might not really want to curl. Put this in, twist a little bit, and you just pull it through. There you go. There's like a nice wave curl, which I really like that, because I don't like my hair to be too curly. Not my jam. With this, it just made it really easy that you would put your hair and then just twist a little bit, and then you pull it through, and it should give you a really nice curl. So let's do this again. I'll turn around. And there's that nice wave again. Now this would be more ideal for super long hair. Or just longer hair than mine because I feel like it makes it super hard for me to even get the curl because of how short my hair is. Let's try it this way. See, I can't even do it. You take it, 
See, I feel like this way, it would take so much harder, and I feel like I would just burn my hair off. Like, it does give you a really nice curl, but with how long this holds my hair while it's going through that process of straightening it, I feel like I would just burn my hair all the time, so I don't do it that way. But the curl might turn out a lot better. You would just like to do it this way. Oh my gosh, my hair is just so dry. But you're getting, you know, really pretty curls. It, I do really like the way it turns out. Normally, I don't do my hair with a straightener because I just feel like it's a lot more work for me. The faster you go, the looser the curl. But the slower you go, the curlier the curl. Just like with the other straighteners, what you want to do is, because it is already positioned to be t or tilted, all you do is put it in. You twist a little bit and then you pull it through and then you get like a nice loose curl. If you just do like halfway then it'll give you a loose curl but if you do it all the way like you would with a straightener then it gives you more like a curl like this. You do have a lot of more flexibility to work and see which curl you personally want to create. I feel like this is literally a repetition of my other video that I did for you guys where I curled my hair with a straightener that I honestly feel like is less work, but with this you could still do it the same thing. See, my hair is just not curling because my hair just doesn't work too well with these things. But it should curl your hair because I've done it on other people. So you put this in, you want to twist it and then pull it through, and I'm just going to do it slowly. There we go. Now we're talking. So we put it through, twist it, and pull. I think it's super easy to be able to curl your hair with this. Now, because it's not like crazy smooth, you might have a little bit harder of a time that it might pull your hair. If your hair is pretty dry like mine at the moment, you might have a harder time doing this to your hair. That might be the reason why my curls on this side are just turning out completely. So let's do it like this. I feel like I'm ripping my hair like that. Now the one thing that I'm noticing is if you are doing it this way, the curl is a lot more defined like this. And when you're doing it from the top, it's going to be way more relaxed like this and probably will fall out in a little bit. So you guys get the idea of how to do this. I mean, I'll do it again. So you put it through, you twist it, but I feel like this way it's kind of pulling on my hair a little bit. But there you go, you get that nice curl. I think this is pretty simple to do. It will just take you guys practice because it's not something you learn overnight. And you just gotta be careful not to like burn your fingers while you're doing this. There we go. Now we're creating some curl. I feel like with this, it's much easier to do it this way, but you just have to be like fast enough to be able to pull your hair through. Otherwise, you're just gonna burn your hair. I don't know. But my final thoughts, I do really like the idea of this and I feel like it's so much cheaper than that time straightener. bought this originally at Marshalls because that's just where I found it. Normally you will not find it at Marshalls because it's one of those things that they might have it and then it might disappear out of their shelves. Where you can find this is on Amazon and that is where most of them sell. Now I bought this originally, I want to say $26 which is a steal because on Amazon you won't find them unless they're like $50, $60. They're not the cheapest thing and if you go on their actual website it is $150. Like I don't know why this thing would cost that much money but I can tell that because this is like a replica of a time straightener that's the reason why it does cost that much. I do really like this product and I think it does really work. It will definitely take practice if you want to learn how to do your hair with it. Let me know if you did learn anything and if you want more detail and anything else as far as curling your hair with straighteners or with a Versa styler. I recommend this and I do give this a thumbs up. And thank you guys for watching and supporting me. Hopefully this did get us somewhere. And I will also post my first impression on the Versa Styler down below for you guys to watch and to see. It's kind of an old video, 
not that old but it's a few months old that I've done it so if you'd like to see that it is down below also don't forget to like this video and subscribe if you haven't already I love you all and I'll see you in my next video